This is Shorthammer. It is the 50th of January, 2020, and we're taking a look at Netflix. Now, Netflix, like most tickets, has been uptrending, and our expectation today was a gap close. We saw this push up here, and we thought we can get a nice little squeeze out of this. And not that it will close the gap today, but that we would start on a trend to get potentially up into that area. And it didn't happen. Slightly choppy. The S&P was all over the place today. And we didn't really have a trend um, that we could follow as far as up or down, just slightly choppy. Now, on this pullback into our supply demand zone here, this 335 area, that's where you automatically would look to enter a long position with the close and hold below as your exit. And this, if, if we were to back test this trend somehow, strangely, then we would also get long there at that position. Also, this is on the daily chart. Let's take a peek at the four hour, see what we've got going on. Now on the four hour, I'm looking at these candles and we're, we're still slightly undecided for tomorrow, but we are above the 335. As long as that holds and the buyers step in, we do have the opportunity to squeeze back up to the 343 area, which I'll be watching for tomorrow. If we take a peek at the five minute chart, what you'll see is on the selling. And this is something that, because I was really not um, dialed in at the open, I, didn't, I missed all this. And this is not something that I would chase because this, this little flare down could easily turn into a dip by opportunity and people take it back off to the upside. But what I did catch was I missed all this. I didn't take any of this was this action here. And I went long right around, let's see where did I get long right around this area here. So I got long on this candle and the uh, pullback after that, it held this uh, supply demand area and we curved and you see where we crossed the pop yellow here, which is an intraday pivot, how we just rocketed to the upside. This is a beautiful trade. Uh, and you know, what you want to do for me, I'll begin to exit at the first sign of resistance or first sign of supply. I'll begin to exit, but I try to always take it level to level. And so on Amazon, on, I was just Amazon, on Netflix, with this sort of rounding action going on here and us being at cycle low, then the expectation was that we'd see a little bit of buying activity. And my target on this curve was about the 338s, and it pushed beyond that, actually. Well, way beyond that. But as it moved, you see it held the levels. Even the back test here of this cluster, it held. It was a push up when we back tested here of that cluster again, another push up. And here we dip below, but we're still above the pop yellow, this intraday pivot here. So what am I watching for tomorrow on Netflix? For this 335.93 area to hold and for buyers to take us up near the 343. Will I be, what's the word, biased? and just buy the open? No, I wanna see what we do. Now, if we make new lows and we cross below this 335 area, then I'll probably be fading it into the next pivot and maybe potentially lower into this pivot. But as it stands, to me, the market is still slightly bullish. We have to see where we open. And I'll be watching for a buy up of this back into the 343s, but I'm not gonna preempt and jump in immediately. I'll wait for the intraday setup for an entry here. And so that's my plan for Netflix. And um, hopefully, get back to this one and switch back to the daily chart. Then hopefully headed into earnings um, and hope is something that's not good in this market. You can't have hope. What you want to have is your technical setup and just follow that. But what we'd like to see is the buyers just give us a nice strong squeeze and for us to fill this gap. We'll see if it happens, but I definitely have Netflix on the watch list and I'm watching for the day that we may potentially get this fill to the upside. Is it possible that we sell from the 335-ish 330, area and roll down to the 330s? It's possible, but not necessarily probable. So wait to see where we open. And for me, buying off of this 335 level opens up 343. Selling below opens up the 330s.
If you like this video, don't hesitate to tap the like button and please subscribe to our channel, Power of Pivots, where you can receive more content like this and also videos and updates from Elisa, the creator of Power of Pivots. That sound you hear in the background is my daughter having a ball on her tablet. Um, she should be sleeping, but she's not. You know how that works. Thanks for your time. Enjoy the day.